said it time and again on this channel, but upgradability is one of the most appealing prospects of PC gaming over console gaming. Sure, the potential to reach an unfathomable FPS count on maxed out settings in higher resolutions is great, but few people get to experience that. However, everyone can enjoy getting to see their gaming rig slowly evolve and get more powerful with time as they replace old components with newer ones. Only, it's not as simple as getting the newest CPU or GPU and slapping it onto the motherboard. Aside from checking for compatibility, you also need to make sure that your power supply can handle the extra wattage that often comes with more powerful components. And to do this, you need to know what power supply you have. Only this isn't as easy as just opening the device manager and looking up your PSU's make and model there. That is why in today's video, we'll walk you through all of the steps you'll need in order to find out what PSU you have. So without any further ado, let's begin. In order to find what power supply your PC uses, you have to consider how you bought it. The assumption in this video is that you weren't the one building your own custom gaming PC, since this would mean that you had to handpick the PSU yourself, in which case you'd likely already know the answer to your question. However, if you bought a pre-built PC, you may be able to avoid prying open your case to physically check the power supply. If you can find the serial number of your PC, you may be able to use that to identify the power supply. This could work even without the specific serial number if you know the make and model of your PC. In either case, you just have to go to the manufacturer's website and track down the specs for that particular build. Easy peasy. Unfortunately, if you don't own a pre-built PC and you weren't the one who built it, there is simply no reliable way to check which PSU is powering your rig short of opening the case and looking this up manually. Some power supplies are made with built-in intelligent hubs that let you not only see the name of your PSU model, but also monitor the fans and other internal components, but these are very much the exception and not the rule. So, in all likelihood, you're going to have to open up your computer case. The good news is that many cases come with separate PSU shrouds that help eliminate cable clutter and improve the overall aesthetic, especially with transparent cases. Wait, did we say this was good news? We meant bad news. PSU shrouds are great for making the inside of your PC look neater, but they completely hide the power supply, which we need to physically inspect at this point. This means that you're either going to have to remove the shroud or completely remove the PSU. We recommend removing the PSU since most units have the large sticker with all of the specs on the bottom of the PSU anyway. This will be easier if you've got a fully modular or at least a semi-modular PSU. Removing the shroud is probably the easier option if you've got a non-modular power supply. If you're not sure what these terms mean, check out the video in the description where we go over all of the benefits and drawbacks of non-modular, semi-modular, and fully modular PSUs. Make sure to note down the modularity of your PSU since some models come in multiple varieties which may differ in wattage. At this point, it's a good idea to either take a picture of the spec sticker or write the important bits down somewhere so that you don't have to go through this process ever again. All of this work was done mostly so that you'll know what the maximum power capacity of your power supply is. This is a piece of info that you'll have to constantly keep in mind when upgrading your hardware since a large enough upgrade may drive the required wattage above what your current PSU can handle, forcing you to upgrade the PSU as well. To avoid any such unpleasant surprises, we suggest you use a PSU calculator. There are many online PSU calculators that'll let you know exactly how much power you need to keep all of your hardware components in check. So once the time comes to upgrade, say, your GPU, just replace the old GPU with the new one in the online PSU calculator and you'll find out whether your power supply can handle the extra wattage or not. Keep in mind also that you don't want to max out your PSU capacity. If all your PC components require, let's say, 480 watts to operate, you shouldn't count on a 500 watt PSU. Power supplies like to take it easy, so they run on maximum efficiency when the power draw is between 50 and 80% of their total output. Maxing out your PSU is one of the quickest ways to prematurely end its life. 
And that about does it for this video. We wanted to keep it short since the topic is just how to find out what PSU you have, but we had to throw in the bits about the optimal loads and PSU calculators, since these are important pieces of information that we feel anyone looking for the model of your PSU is likely to need. If you want to know even more about these power supplies, there's a link to an in-depth video where we go over all of the PSU specs down in the description, so check it out if you want to know more. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, sharing it, and leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We upload new content every week, so until then, stay tuned. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.